Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. Today I'm doing another of my 100 quick and easy cards. Um, yeah, I think this might be 18. I'm sorry about that. Lost track, lost track. But hey, we're getting there. We're nearly, you know, getting near to fifth of the way there. So I am going to use Mistletoe Magic this time and just do it as a simple one layer card. Well, you call it two layers if you want. I've got a card blank and then one layer to put on it. Or I had a card blank. I don't know where it, here it is. Right, so I've got one card base and it's all in white and any colour we add will add we think so it's not going to have lots of layers to accept I have die cut from the die set that goes with the mistletoes so there's a pack of dies called mistletoe dies so I've used this bow and cut that in our gold foil I'll put that there but these dies are pretty clever too because these outline ones will cut the stamped images but then you've got this lovely one here which I will use on a card soon and these be sort of fern type and then you've got different size berries that you can cut out and be sprig there to pop the berries on so yeah quite an interesting wee stamp set and I think it will get used soon as I say, I've just used one die from it to cut a wee bow. So, simply using this, is, because it's a nice open stamp, um, using it as an excuse to get the blends out and do a wee bit of colouring, but not a lot. I'm just making sure... So I'm using Memento because I'm going to colour with the blends. And because I think black and green go particularly nicely together. So I am actually just stamping this once firmly with black. that's it that's all I'm going to do I would have preferred to have that off the page so I might trim this down a little bit that always looks a bit better and then I've got the sentiment I'm actually just going to put the sentiment here and it's at an artistic angle you know, actually could you as simple as that just leave it as an image like that it would look quite nice too It's a bit squint, isn't it? Let's use the other side. Let's see if we can line this up better. I think I might have my sticker on a little bit dodgy, but we'll try. Let's just try again. I was going to put this further down. Yeah, I think it's the way that this I'm following the sticker, but I really need to turn it very slightly. But I'm not going to mess anymore. But the thing I thought would be better is to have the stems off the page. As I say, I don't usually make prototypes for these cards. So basically you're watching the process. I had the idea in my head, but... Right, so want this above, and that's it there. Hopefully, this time it's off the page. Just make sure that the ink has a chance to transfer. 
I still know I might just trim that a little bit. Anyway, we'll do we'll do our colouring and then see what happens. I've got brought this because I might use the um splatter stamp in the colour and contour, but just for the moment I'm just gonna do a bit of colour on the leaves. Maybe. <laughs> so again I'm not gonna get too hung up. Just put some of the dark in. And then just blend it out with the light. I'm using, oh well, we'll be using a splatter stamp now because the pen has splattered. So that's helped me decide. And just blend it out with the light. It's quite a bright green this, but I just think it's light and it's bright. That just cheers us up a bit. For a nice wee Sprig of mus muscle, but a mistletoe um, brought in from the woods at Christmas and apparently it's good luck to have a kiss under the mistletoe. So that's the dark and then just over with the light so... Actually, might just use instead of using a splatter stamp, I might just use the pen to get my splatter. Just pretty, isn't it? So let's see if. Because this seem, these are new and quite wet, so let's see if we can just splatter. It did when it was opened, but it's not really. That's funny, isn't it? It just does. It's not really splattering. Okay, right. So we'll try one more thing. What about the? marker pen. We can flick it from the lid. Yeah, that's working. Again, takes the... it breaks the white up on the card. And it covers up for the accidental splat when it opened the pen. So there you go, there's that bit done. And all I want to do now is use the ink and just give this a bit of an edge. So we'll just use our beautiful parakeet party. I'm hoping that the stamping on the back doesn't show through. Well, this doesn't want to close now. Come on, that's it. So we've, brought, we've used the ink pad, the blends and the marker pen so far. Right, where's my card base? I am just going, this is just going to be a flat 
inexpensive for a post-it card. <laughs> So as you see, with Stampin' Up! there are so many combinations, there's so many options, so many different ways you can use a stamp that, you know, just with a two or three stamp sets you can make a, ve a variety of quick and easy cards. I was going to trim that but I changed, obviously forgot to do it, so something changed my mind so I'm not going to, I'm not going to overthink it. It's just completely different colour always. So we've got this to add on. But what I thought first would be good to do is use these pearlised enamel effects. The white to give us a lovely white berries. But I'm just kind of wondering how this bow will work with that. Maybe the bowl have to go on once these are dry because it would be a bit tricky. Okay, we'll just, anyway, let's see if we can. Now these will, because they're bigger berries, they're not just wee dots I'm putting here. You will have to you would have to leave this overnight. Because these will just squash if you don't. So I actually tempted to trim the wee tails off this. Why not? Pretty as they are, yeah, there that's better. And then I can just pop a tiny wee bit of glue on and pop this on. It's a quick and easy card, but it's very pretty. I, I think that's very effective. So that's our pearlised enamel effects, but that will have to dry overnight. But I hope you like this. I'm rather pleased with it. So thank you very, very much for coming and watching. I think, as I say, I think this is card 18, but we'll see when I upload it. So have a go. I've missed a bit. So let's just... Sometimes you just stand back, you can see. So it's just quite delicate kind of card. Almost understated. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please push, push the bell icon and get notified when I'm coming on again. Please share to Pinterest and everywhere. <laughs> Share with anyone you think might like to see some crafty videos, particularly some quick and easy cards. So thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one.